Hello everyone and welcome to another very beautiful chess game of Bobby Fischer. And this game was played in Santiago in Chile in 1959. And once again, Bobby Fischer's opponent is Hermann Pilnik, the German Grandmaster. And in this game, Bobby Fischer is playing with the white pieces. Pilnik has the black pieces. And Bobby Fischer starts the game with playing e4, c5, knight to f3. So Pilnik is playing the Sicilian defense. Knight to c6, d4, c takes on d4, knight takes on d4, knight to f6, knight to c3, d6, bishop to c4, e6, bishop to b3, bishop to e7, and both players castled, bishop to e3, bishop to d7, f4, knight takes on d4, bishop takes knight, bishop to c6, queen to e2, queen to a5, f5, e5, Closing the file and attacking the bishop. Fisher played bishop to f2, bishop to d8, rook from a to d1, bishop to b6, and Fisher is not wasting any time and he played g4. Well, in the general rules of chess, you do not push the pawn in front of the king, but Fisher is breaking the general rules of chess and Fisher is not wasting any time and attacking in the king's side and not capturing the pawn with the rook. We have h6 by Pilnik, h4, knight to h7, rook to d3, king to h8, g5, bishop to d4, king to h2, bishop to b5. Well, in this position, Pilnik is attacking the rook and the queen at the same time. So what else? Fischer captures the bishop with the knight. Queen takes on b5 c3 bishop takes on f2 and of course fisher captures the bishop with the rook if queen takes bishop queen takes rook so queen to b6 rook to g2 d5 and then bishop takes on d5 pilnik is sacrificing a pawn and hoping for some attacking opportunities and this position is already losing for black rook from a to d8 Queen to h5, and we have g6, a desperate move. Well, if let's say a6, a random move, then f6. If pawn takes pawn, then queen takes on h6. This is completely losing for black. Whatever black does, black is losing. So let's play a random move, bishop takes on f7. Saving the rook, bishop to d5. Well, black can resign in this position. This is so losing for black. So g6, and then Fischer captures the pawn. Queen takes on h6. And Pilnik played another desperate move. He played rook takes on d5. Well, sacrificing the exchange. Let's play our silly random move. Let's say a6, a very silly move. Then f6, threatening checkmate. So defending with the rook, but then bishop takes on f7, if saving the rook, there is checkmate. So either way, black is losing the exchange. So that's why we have rook takes on d5, e takes on d5, e4, attacking the rook, rook from d to g3 by Fischer. And look at these rooks. It looks very ugly for black. Queen to d6, pinning the rook h5, rook to g8, and of course if pawn takes pawn, queen takes queen. So rook to g8, and Fischer played h takes on g6, f takes on g6, and f6 by Bobby Fischer. Well, in this terrible position, Pilnik played a terrible move. He played queen takes on d5. It's white to move, and Fischer plays a move, and after that move, Pilnik resigned. So if I give you five seconds, can you guess the next move of Bobby Fischer? Well, Bobby Fischer sacrificed the queen. He played queen takes knight. And after this move, Pilnik resigned. So if king takes queen, Rook to h3. Checkmate. So what a beautiful queen sacrifice. 
by Bobby Fischer. So this is the end. This is the last position of this game. And I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. And I hope to see you next time. Take care.